Hello and welcome to the 2021 CubeSat Developers Workshop. Today I'd like to provide you an update of the Syslunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment known as Capstone. In today's presentation, I'll provide an overview of the mission, the mission objectives, and describe key elements of the mission including the spacecraft, the launch vehicle, the launch site, and mission operations. The Capstone mission is a technology demonstration mission that is manifested to launch in 2021. Utilizing a 12U spacecraft, Capstone will serve as the first spacecraft to enter into the near rectilinear halo orbit NRHO for short, that is destined for Gateway, the moon orbiting outpost that is part of NASA's Artemis program. The capstone spacecraft, aided by the Rocket Lab Photon vehicle, will take about three months to arrive at its target destination around the moon. Once in the NRHO, the capstone spacecraft will understand the characteristics of the of maintaining this orbit as well as perform technology demonstrations. This mission will help to reduce risk for future spacecraft by validating innovative navigation technologies and verifying the dynamics of the near rectilinear halo orbit. Capstone's mission objectives are the following. It will serve as a precursor mission for NASA's Gateway Operations Team at Johnson Space Center. This mission will inform the requirements and mission operations approach necessary to operate in the near rectilinear halo orbit. Capstone will demonstrate interspacecraft ranging between the Capstone spacecraft and NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The mission will also validate the CIS Lunar Autonomous Positioning System navigation software. And finally, the mission will gain experience for NASA with small dedicated launches of CubeSats beyond low Earth orbit to the Moon. NASA plans to launch Artemis's orbital platform's power and propulsion element and the habitation and logistics outpost element no earlier than May 2024. The capstone mission will serve as a pathfinder to investigate the planned arrival and insertion into the orbit around the moon. The near rectilinear halo orbit is the desired orbit for the orbital platform because it is a stable orbit that can be maintained with minimal propellant requirements. It provides coverage of both the north and south poles of the moon and has continuous view of the earth. The capstone launch vehicle will utilize a low energy ballistic lunar transfer approach similar to the Artemis program to reach the moon. This approach uses solar gravity to raise perigee and insert spacecraft into the lunar orbit, thereby minimizing the fuel that is required to reach the moon. Once the launch vehicle reaches the moon, it will deploy the capstone spacecraft. The capstone spacecraft will require about 120 meters per second of delta V to achieve the near rectilinear halo orbit. Once in the orbit, 40 meters per second of delta V is required to maintain the orbit for the, the primary mission and the extended or enhanced mission operations period. At the end of the mission, 5 meters per second of delta V is required for the disposal of the spacecraft. The crosslink experiment between the capstone spacecraft and the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter will evaluate ranging capability between two spacecraft. <clears throat> the mission will demonstrate the Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System 
and its ability to utilize automated navigation solutions to reduce ground segment burden and enhance future mission operations. The baseline data type for the CAP system is peer-to-peer -peer measurements from which the CAPS flight software will generate absolute estimates of spacecraft position and velocity. The baseline mission timeline for Capstone includes the three to four months of arrival and transition into the near rectilinear halo orbit. Once in the NRHO, Capstone will enter into a six month primary operations period where it will conduct NRHO operations and flight dynamics observations and also conduct the capstone to lunar reconnaissance orbiter crosslink experiment. At the end of the six-month operation demonstration, capstone will enter into a 12-month extended technology enhancement operations where it will continue to collect NRHO operational data it will continue to conduct capstone to LRO ranging experiments and also increase the fidelity of the Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System. The next slide is a mission simulation that will highlight various phases of the mission. The next three slides describe the spacecraft and some of the key enabling technologies that will enable this mission. The Capstone spacecraft will utilize the 12U Tyvek Trestles nanosatellite bus. This slide shows the spacecraft in the 12U deployer configuration and it illustrates the spacecraft with the flat panel S-band antenna and in the Last photo on the right, the spacecraft with the solar panels deployed. Slide 11 shows you the specifications for the capstone spacecraft. Features a 182 watt hour storage battery module, has deployable fixed angle solar array panels, Utilizes the Iris X band radio as the main comm radio. Features the Tethers Unlimited S band SDR radio that will be used to conduct the Capstone to Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Crosslink experiment. And it also features a hydrazine propulsion system 
that provides greater than 200 meters per second of delta V. One of the key enabling technologies that will be demonstrated on this mission is the Stellar Exploration Hydrazine Propulsion System. This system is a 2x2U footprint that fits inside the 12U spacecraft. It has approximately 3 kilograms of fuel, providing a total of 200 meters per second of delta V. The propulsion system features eight 0.25 Newton thrusters. The last sets of slides will provide you information with respect to the launch vehicle, the launch location, as well as mission operations. The launch vehicle chosen for this capstone mission is the Rocket Lab two-stage electron rocket featuring the Photon spacecraft with Hypercurie motor. The Photon spacecraft will act as a translunar injection stage for this capstone spacecraft. This slide shows the Rocket Lab Photon spacecraft assembly. The Photon spacecraft will be modified so that the capstone spacecraft and the deployer will sit on the top deck of the photon spacecraft. The picture on the right shows the hypercurie motor during test firing. The launch location for the capstone mission will be from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. The capstone spacecraft will be transported to New Zealand for integration and launch. The next slide shows the launch vehicle processing overview in which it depicts the stage mate process including the final mate and then transport to the pad. The bottom row pictures shows the integration of the capstone spacecraft to the photon spacecraft and then encapsulation. Slide 17 shows the ground station and mission operations architecture. Capstone will utilize the NASA Deep Space Network for uplink and downlink as well as ranging. Capstone to LRO crosslink experiment will be coordinated with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Program Operations Center at Goddard Space Flight Center. Spacecraft operations will be supported at Tyvek Nano Satellites in Irvine, California. Mission management of the flight dynamics and payload operations will be supported at Advanced Space in Westminster, Colorado. Launch systems will be supported by Rocket Lab in New Zealand. At the end of the mission, Capstone will be decommissioned by conducting a 5 meter per second disposal maneuver burn at Paralune with an impact into the moon two revolutions later. Navigation will be conducted all the way to impact. I'd like to thank the CubeSat Developers Workshop for allowing me to provide this opportunity to tell you about the Capstone mission. For more information, please go to the URLs provided below to get more information about the mission, as well as to get information about the Small Spacecraft Technology Program. Thank you.